I grew a lot academically. My whole life, I was never really academically challenged. Um, I didn't really have to try to get straight A's, it just happened. Yeah. Now in college, all of a sudden I had to try and I just, I had to prove I was passionate for the job that I wanted and passionate for my degree. One thing that Sterling really taught me is that you always have learning to do. You always have growing to do, so you might as well be excited for it. When I first arrived, I was in a really dark place. My grandmother had died um, a couple months before I was supposed to move into Sterling. And she was my best friend. She was the light of my life. She motivated me to do everything and anything. And when I lost her, it was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. I was angry at God and I was angry at everybody. And I, I just didn't want anything to do with anybody. One of the first um, chapels that I went through talked about being angry at God and forgiving people who did you wrong. And it hit me. And I remember at the end of it, just crying my eyes out, feeling like I had just been shot in the chest with feelings and emotions. And at the time, Stephanie Moncada had came up to me and hugged me and prayed with me. She told me she was, you know, God's got you, you know, put it on him, don't carry it alone. And some really inspiring stuff like she does, if you know her. She's awesome, love her. When I got to Sterling, I had a new identity. And I grew with my leadership because I said, you know what? People need help, people are feeling alone, people feel they don't fit in or whatever. And somebody needed to be there for them. I took it into account that I would be there for people and I would be a shoulder for them to cry on, um, a smile to put on their face, whatever. And that's how I grew with my leadership. One of the biggest one would be my leadership skills. As soon as I got to Sterling, I already had a job as a student ambassador. I was in CAV, and then I was in SGA, and then I was also a visits assistant for admissions as well. It just helped me kind of get out of my comfort zone. It's changed my mind completely on what it means to get involved, because sometimes you think like, oh, I need to do something huge, you know, to, to like help people and stuff like that. But honestly, just participating in little things and getting involved in general, um, it's just a great way to like do ministry and um, other things as well. Sterling really gave me the opportunity to grow in building relationships with people. Um, I love that I was able to make friendships with all kinds of people, being athletes and theater students and art students and just um, that kind of community was really awesome for me. Sometimes like you grow up in this like, like the same community um, and going to college you get to see new and different people, people who are completely different than you. Um, so it was a really great opportunity for me to get to know them. And I'm really grateful that the Lord allowed me to grow in my love for them. He allowed me to grow in my love for the church, my appreciation for that community of believers. It's an incredible gift. The teachers are more open to talk about their faith and I think that just kind of challenged me to be more open with my faith and I just felt more comfortable as well. It was just a comfort to know that the faculty and staff here um, love the Lord and, and they, want, they want the students to, to love the Lord as well.